Hi, welcome to our back to tutors. In this video, we'll be considering editing cell data. So we'll look at editing cell content, find and replace data, editing formulas and functions, overwriting cell content, the undo and redo function, as well as go to and go to special function. Now looking at our screen, we have some data, the primary data that contains the name of five students with their math number, with their test assessment, the examination values, that's all we have for now. So looking at the first function, we have editing data. For example, we want to change, you want to make a change to the name, you have to select the cell you want to edit, you double click on it so that the cursor will be blinking. Until the cursor starts blinking, you cannot type. So you cannot type, maybe you want to type the name is Chooks, you want to change it to Chukuno, so, so that's what I have to expand data to show. So if you select the cell, double click on it and type fit can. So that's how to edit. You have to select the cell you are working on and you want to before you can edit the content. Maybe you want to change your name to Messi. So that's for that. Now, for example, we want to our math number is supposed to be CX and not NX. So assuming, assuming it, it was a mistake. So you don't have to um, start deleting all the content and typing it again. This can be achieved with the help of find and replace. So for example, you come to the top right corner of your window, you see find and select, click on it. The first thing is click find. So find helps. Another way to do it is to click Control F. So the dialog box will come out. So what are you looking for? You type what you are looking for. So maybe I'm looking for which what is there? NX is there as the math number. What we are looking for to show you whatever NS, whatever NS appears on the screen, it will show you right there. So having done that, then the next thing you're going to do is for us to replace. Click the replace number. And what do you want to replace with? want to replace with CX. So anywhere we see NS on our screen, which is the math number column, we want to replace it with the CX. So you find NS, you replace, you replace, find NS, replace, replace, replace. So as you can see, we have first we change the math number from NS to CS with the aid of find and replace function. The next we have is formulas and function. You know, basically these two, uh, two terms are similar in the sense that the major difference between the both is that formulas are created why functions are inbuilt. For example, we want to find the sum, the total of their CA and examination. So we double, to do that as a function, you select this and come to auto sum, click to auto sum to give you the sum for that score. So you double click on it, you come down here and select to give you the other sum. So that's for function. But assuming it is formula, I want to find the sum of each of these two. So I'll just come to this cell. Maybe I'll come down to the under here, right? Chukuno. So I'll come and type. I will create, I will create by saying equal to some, or better still, I'll just say this cell plus CS score, give me 66, try for fit can, so I'll do likewise, equal to M three 
plus the exam score. That's for that to get <coughs> each of those submission. So you can see that this one was was created while this function was inbuilt. So for example, maybe you're in trying to edit the functions, maybe this is the formula that was sum. We cannot say plus five to edit the formula. So to add five to that, likewise can come to this place and put plus five. So that's what we meant by editing formulas and function. So that's for that. The next thing we have on our screen is overwriting cell content that has been done with the aid of a find and replace go to, or at the same time, you can just click on any cell. You want to just, just start typing grace. Just click, I can now call this one chooks. So you have to select the cell to start to type before you can overwrite the content. Then the next we have is undo and redo. For example, now this was messy before we, we turn it to grace. So the read undo is to go back to the previous um, command that was executed, is to undo what was done. So if you click undo, either you click control Z to undo, control Z, or you click this icon to undo what was undone. So other thing again we can do is redo, redo is to bring it back to what was undo. So you, this is redo, and this is undo. So this is redo, undo. So that you say control Z or control Y. Control Z, control Y. So that's for that. Then the go to and go to special. For example, now you want to go to a particular segment in your spreadsheet. Maybe you have a very long spreadsheet that you want to go. So just click the go to, which is control G. Control G icon will pop up. You type the reference you want to go. You want to go to want to go to M M10. So just type M10 on the reference and click OK. The cursor will just appear straight to M10. <clears throat> you want to you can do that again. Another way to do it is to come to this your top right corner, which is the final replace. Click on it and you go to we come out, then you type and say um, you want to go to O6 or O7. Enter. It will take you straight to the command. In other words, go to help us transfer control to a particular place we want it to be. Now, the, the second part has to do with go to special. Go to special has to do with functions and formula. When you go to go to special, it leads you to where functions and formula are on your worksheet. So come down, click go to special. So you have to select formulas. When you select formulas, then click OK. So you can see this, you have a formula here, we have a function over here. So that is what GoTo Special helps you to go to go a particular area that contains a particular order of item. So that's all for now in this video. Editing cell content, find and replace, editing formulas and function, undo and redo function and go to go to special that's all for this video we hope this video has been helpful to you please if you want to learn more do subscribe to our channel thank you for viewing